Hey guys, and welcome back to more Distorb. So, if you see here, the pirate ship has already been completed, um, as well as the volcano whale actually as well. So, I recorded it, and it's just gone. So, we're gonna re-record it. It's actually not gone, it's just got corrupted, so... Not sure exactly what we're doing, but... Oh well, we can re-record it. Um, also, one of the times I recorded it, there's also a, actually a weird glitch. Ah! A cruise is a welcome break after all the fight I've been doing recently. Fresh air, salty sea water, angry pirates. Wait, this isn't a cruise, it's a pirate ship! So, I'll show you the glitch here, so what will happen is sometimes the zombies will land out in there and they can't escape from the crowd. And you can't kill them. When I first started doing this mission, I thought the crowd would hurt you and I was totally avoiding it. You can touch the crowd, they don't do anything. It looks like they would because they have swords and stuff, but it just doesn't, so. The mice can also get stuck sometimes in there, which is weird. And since you can only kill them by having them touch- or sorry, it wasn't the mouse that got stuck, it was the mouse trap that got stuck in there. Just barely enough, but enough so that the mouse could hit it, so it was weird quite weird so I've done this mission a couple times so I have a little bit of idea how it works or rather a little bit quite a bit so I find it's fun to do it like the first time because then you're kind of more surprised and it's, it's more usually I play them once through just to get a general idea but I usually um, don't beat it or I quit out part way through usually I try to figure out the bosses the first time just for fun. So what are we waiting for? Oh, see, a zombie is stuck out here. That's why this glitch I was talking about. And there's no way to attack the zombie. It really sucks. That's exactly the glitch I was talking about. It's very, like, it's so weird. Oh, we've already seen this, so I'll just that's it. Like, I wish they'd fix it. It's I know it's on the forums, it's been documented, so... Hopefully he'll fix it eventually. But, I, that's the sec- So that's happened to me 50% of the time. I played this mission twice, the first time he got stuck. The second time is the time I beat it on camera. And this is the third time I'm doing this mission. So, that's a, like, I don't know if it'd be a 50% or if it'd be a 33%. I could only have a representative sample, but... It's happened to me two out of three times, just pretty bad. I love this game though for the catches and stuff you can do. It's so... how to say. This makes me feel so good. Should there be another one? So what it tries to do is it tries to make them invincible till they come through, but I think there's breaks and gaps in here, so... But it looks like we possibly... oh no, this is the double mouse, so it'll be next time is where we get stuck, so... And believe it or not, there's more of this. Oops. Okay, good. I went to block it, but I didn't need to, which is fine. Okay, don't get stuck in there this time, zombies. I don't know what caused I think if the crowd's further in, there's less chance. Oh, I deserved to be hit that time. So I got the shield. You should actually break the shield afterwards. You shouldn't break it this early. Or you shouldn't collect this early anyway. The shield is on for a certain amount of time. I see you're in danger, human! Quickly jump from the ship and come this way! If I jump, I'll bash my head on the rocks! Yes, yes that's right! Bash your head on those lovely fluffy rocks, and I will be okay. You're not very good at being a tempest. Be gone, sea witch! So this is actually a pretty cool mission. So... They bring up a cannon, and you can use the cannon to shoot at the... Well, those guys, so... You do have to push the cannon in order to get it to be in the right place. Just quickly. Also, like I showed, if you can get one like that, it will fire the cannon two or three times. So you can focus on your dodging. Ooh, just barely missed. You can push the cannon back and forth. But I kind of find it's just best just to use the natural rock the ship. And then dodge. If you try to push the cannon and dodge, I find it can be a little bit difficult. Not as much on this one, 
But on the second one, it gets much more intense. Because you know you fight every mini boss twice. And you're in no rush. You don't have to beat the level in any amount of time. So both, I didn't really show it that well on the other one, but on both edges, you have to wait until the thing tilts. So you can't hit them immediately, and then he'll go and take the cat away, so. But if you do it that way, you can get it done pretty easily. It's wave three, so yeah, wait till the wave thing is pretty much done, and then you can collect the thing. You don't want to collect too late, because you want to be ready for whatever enemies show up, but. But yeah, we're rocking here. <laughs> Just owning everything. We haven't even took a damage yet. That's how intense we're doing. Also here, you want to grab your um, discs as soon as possible because they can actually, if their disc is like here and those guys spawn, oh shoot. Oh, good thing I have my shield. I'm sure he hit me. And they move forward, they will kill your disc. And by kill your disc, I mean run over it so you can't use it. Ooh, this is... There's like very little I can do because I, I like trap by the mice. So again, you want to use the ones that are going to be by the crowd first. So the crowd don't expand over them and you have to just dodge mice. So I got hit once, but I guess that's the end of the world. Sometimes, if you, even if you don't know a disc is going to hit you, I just spin anyway, because, you, I don't know, it's just... You don't really lose anything to speed spinning, other than maybe a little bit of speed, but... So there's two strategies here. You can just wait for the zombies to group up and then kill them there. Or you can grab them, kind of kill them one at a time like that. I, As long as you have one disc, I find it's fine to kind of pick them off one at a time. La la la! Ouch, my ears! You're terrible at singing too! How'd you ever trick any sailors? Mostly with phishing emails. Yeah, Millie, I'm with you. Yes, not to say. Okay, you have to be punished for that joke. Bring out the cannons! So now there's four. And I find their attacks are a little bit harder to dodge. Okay, two hits now. See, like, this is what I mean, there's a lot more attacks coming at you. So it's important to just do your best. Ooh, shit. I thought that one was just gonna miss me, but... Like I said, focus on dodging. Oops, shit, I don't even have a... Crap. I run out of discs. Remember, you can always use your dash too, if you get yourself into a particularly sticky situation. You can even throw your discs from way over here. It, the only thing you can note is it will knock the cannon. Ooh, can't get it. So you can knock the cannon from distances by doing that. Oops, shoot. Perfect. So, that's one way to do it by throwing your discs. So we're full health here going into the last thing, so I definitely think we're gonna get an A rank here. I'm not sure if there's an S rank for not getting hit at all, but there very well could be. Come on, fight the cheese! Eat the cheese! Where's my other cheese? Not showing up yet. Perfect. Another two mice. Let's go into the traps. Oh shoot. What you can do is I try to usually kill these guys before they enter the screen, which is what I was trying to do there. But I did it wrong, and what happens is if you do it wrong and you, you assume they're dead, they'll hit you. So that's what I hit is I assumed I just hit them, and it had not, so. This Hoping none of these are gonna... Oops, I wasn't even watching that. That's my bad. I got hit twice there. I was just watching to make sure none of them get stuck. But I guess there's nothing really I can do about it, so it's probably not the best strategy, but... I just don't want them to get stuck again, because you have 
they get stuck in this last part, I think you you get to restart. The, you could just restart the chapter, but I think you lose your rank. Like you lose one rank. So I don't want to do that. I want to have all my ranks. Cause I've never got a rank actually yet. So, cause usually I think I play them at my my second try. So, yeah, I got hit once there. That was my fault. Well, I guess all three were my fault, but two I weren't really watching. You there? You got rid of the sirens. Yep, that was all me. Are you here to remind me for helping you? Of course not. Sure, this thing was awful, but they're a bit of eye candy. I'm curious. Typical. I'll run you through for this. So the pirate captain isn't actually that hard. Like, pretty much all you do is you have to hit him, and then he'll hit a disc, and then you can just hit him with a second disc. Extremely simple. He does jump up on the mast at some points. My other recommendation is to try to hit, get him off ricochets. That way, the disc you throw will never really hit him. So here you have to dodge two things. You have to dodge the guys running across and the knives he's throwing. So, the knives will have, um, like, shadows. And you can obviously see the pirates, so... Ooh, I thought that one might have hit him, but it's not. Nice. You can get him on ricochets like that, it's generally really nice. Ooh, I thought that one got him. Oops, that one's not gonna go anywhere. Nope. Like I said, you're not really in any rush. The only thing is, I think if you wait too long, that's when he does his... Um, mass thing, so... Yeah, see? We only hit him once there, I think, so... It's not too bad if you pay attention, it's... Yeah. So I should be able to hit him three times here if I'm... paying attention and... getting good throws. Okay, so let's need one more. Yeah, and quite easily got the A rank. Ha! He fought like a dairy farmer. So that's a reference to, um, oh, what's the name? Oh, anyway, Secret of Monkey Island. So yeah, I'm just thinking. It's like three foot. Guy brush three foot. That's it. So there's our A rank. Zero deaths. Fastest time, 10 minutes, 45 seconds. So. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming out for more Disc Story. We'll be back in the next episode for more when we do the Enchanted Forest. Thanks, guys. Later.